Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. With me Sir Afif. Okay, we are going to continue our lesson 19 in chapter 4, predictable. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to define the first and second ionization energies, explain the increase in the successive ionization energies, explain the variation in the first ionization energy across periods 2 and 3 and down the groups 1 and 2. And last one, deduce the electronic configuration of an element and its position in the periodic table. What is ionization energy or IE? The magnitude of IE is a measurement of how tightly the electron is held in the atom. The higher the IE, the more difficult it is to remove the electron. While the lower the IE, the easier the atom to form cation or in other words, the easier to remove the electrons. So now let's see the periodic trends in the ionization energies. First IE, first ionization energy, is the energy required for the removal of one mole of electron from one mole of neutral gases atom. For this example, we have X, okay, X gas atom produce X plus, meaning that this one, X has already become cation plus electron, meaning that electron is already removed, one electron is removed from the gases atom so it become cation here so data h here is first ie first ionization energy what about second ionization energy is the energy required to remove one mole of electron from one mole of positive ion in the gaseous state For example this one x plus mean that this is cation Okay, produce X2 plus in that X2 plus 2 electron is already removed from the positive ion plus electron so meaning this is the second ionization energy factors that affect the value of IE first is atomic or radius or size of the atom when atomic radii is large Nucleus attraction towards valence electron is weak, meaning the IE is low, easy to remove an electron. Second factor, effective nuclear charge or ZEF. When ZEF is high, nucleus attraction towards valence electron is strong, meaning IE is high difficult to remove an electron the third factor is the shielding effect okay when the number of n increase the shielding effect increase nucleus attraction towards valence electron is weak and then ie is low meaning easy to remove an electron so based on the three factors just now, we can conclude that the IE is related with the nucleus attraction. So whenever the nucleus attraction is stronger, the IE is higher. Whenever the nucleus attraction is weaker, the IE is lower. So the trends for the IE across the period, as we know, across the period, the size becomes smaller meaning that the nucleus attraction becomes stronger, i.e. increase. Down the group, okay, down the, down the group, the size become uh, bigger and then the nucleus attraction, okay, becomes weaker and then the i.e. decrease. So these are the general trend in the first ionization energies okay the first one going down the group okay going down the group decreasing first ionization energy okay because of size getting bigger shielding effect increase nucleus attraction becomes weaker and then the ie decrease while across the period 
proton number increase, Zeph increase, nucleus attractions increase, and then the IE also become increase. Variation in the first ionization energy. Ionization energy across a period. There is a gradual overall increase in IE as we move across a period, although the variation is irregular. The reason for the overall trend is the increase in effective nuclear charge or Z felt by the electrons. This draws the electrons closer to the nucleus and causes the valence electrons to be held more tightly which making it more difficult to remove them. Variation of the first IE in kilojoule per mole across period 2. So for group 1 and group 2, we have element lithium and beryllium with the first IE which is 5 to 0 and 9 0 0. And then going to group 13, 14, and 15, boron, carbon, and nitrogen. Okay, we can see a slightly decrease for the first IE for boron 801 and then increase back 1086 and 1402. And then for group 16, 17, and 18, oxygen, fluorine, and neon. Okay, and then there are slightly decrease again from 1402 to 1314 and then increase back to 1681 and 2081. In general, IE1 or first ionization energy across the period 2 increases from left to right. So, right now, why this anomalous case happen? Anomalous cases. The irregularity between groups 2 and 13. Okay, ionization energy of beryllium is greater than boron. Why? Let's look at the electronic configuration of beryllium. So we have 1s2 and 2s2. While boron, we have 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. So let's look at the orbital diagram. So let's say I only focus on... 2s2 and 2p1. So for beryllium, as we know, 2s, 2s2 means that there are two electrons here. So in this one orbital, as we know, one orbital can fulfill two electrons. So this is what we call completely filled orbital. While for boron, b, okay, 2p1. So only one electron fill in this orbital out of six so it is what we call partially filled orbital so completely filled orbital is more stable than partially filled orbital more energy is needed to remove the electron in the completely filled orbital therefore the, the first ionization energy of beryllium is higher okay what about the irregularity between groups 15 and 16 that have a slightly decrease and then increase back. Okay, the first ionization energy of nitrogen is greater than oxygen. So, N, 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. While O, 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. So, let's focus on N, 2p3. So, 3 orbital with 3 electrons for N. While for O, 2P, 3 orbitals, okay, with 4 electrons. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this electron fulfilled 3 out of 6. This one is 4 out of 6. So, we can say that this for nitrogen, okay, is half filled orbital. While for O, is partially filled orbital. The reason why is half field orbital is more stable than partially field orbital more energy is needed to remove the electron therefore the first ionization energy of n is higher than o so now let's see the ionization energy down within the group so when you going down the group the shielding effect and the atomic size increases 
the outer electrons are far from the nucleus and held less tightly by the nucleus so less energy is needed to remove their first electron therefore ie decreases so now we can determine how many valence electron does the atom have based on the successive ie for example in this slide shows to you that successive ionization energy for aluminium we have first ie second ie until seventh ie with their respective value of uh, ionization energy so we can see the large difference is between ie third and fourth what do we mean by that okay for example as we know 13 al so in terms of electronic configuration, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p1. So this 3s2, 3p1 is what we call valence, valence shell or valence orbital. While this remaining 1s2, 2s2 and 2p6 orbital, what we call is inner inner shell or inner orbital so meaning the reason why okay there are there is a large difference between ie3 and ie4 is that there are three valence electron meaning that after we already remove the three electrons the fourth electron is located in the inner shell so the attraction of the nucleus towards the fourth electron in the inner shell is stronger more energy is needed to remove an electron from the inner shell so the ie is higher so right now we're going to see methods that are going to determine of the electronic configuration of an atom by using successive ionization energies so right now we have a table of first ionization energy until the fourth ionization energy with their respective value of ie in kilojoule per mole with 899, okay, 1757, 14845, and 21000. Method number one by determining the IE ratios. So we take, for example, IE2 over IE1, IE3 over IE2, IE4 over IE3. So in this example, it shows that in between IE3 and IE2 shows the highest ratio, which is 8.45. Meaning that, okay, it has two valence electron, and then the third electron is located in the inner shell. Okay, more elaboration. The first and second electron are removed from the same energy level or shell. The third electron is removed from an inner shell, hence it requires a higher IE3, okay, than IE2, since IE3 over IE2 have the highest ratio two valence electrons are present so valence electron configuration it will be ns2 so when you have this valence configuration so this element is in group 2 so the second method we can use just okay use the differences okay by minus okay for example for this one IE2 minus IE1, IE3 minus IE2, and IE4 minus IE3. So the greatest, the huge difference that we get is between okay, IE3 and IE2, which is 13088 kilojoule per mole. So same explanation as okay, uh, from the first method. So since IE3 minus IE2 have the highest difference, Two valence electrons are present so valence electron configuration and as two this element is in group two so now let's do some example so example number one five successive ionization energies kilojoule per mole for atom m is shown below so these are the values for the five successive energies ie1 until ie5 800 until 16000 so the question asks you 
right the electronic configuration of valence electron for atom M, determine the group and the block M belongs to, and then see why is there a drastic increase in the fifth ionization energy of the element if M is an element of period 3, write its electronic configuration. So in order to find the valence electron, we can use okay, either ratios or differences. So in this example, I show to you by using IE ratios. Okay, we get here is between IE5 and IE4 is the highest ratio, which is 3.67. Meaning what? Meaning the fourth electron, okay, the valence electron, okay, until the fourth IE. So the fifth electron is in the inner shell. Okay, since the ratio of IE5 over IE4 is the highest, four valence electrons at the valence shell, the fifth electron is removed from an inner shell. The electron configuration, which is for question A, of valence electron for M is NS2, NP2. Okay, because of four valence electron. Meaning for M, okay, uh, M is located in group 14. At the periodic table and also block okay it also block P okay block P okay the uh, answer for question C is here these two these two points for question C for question D if M is located at period 3 so as we know when period 3 K okay, is referring to N. So, we have here 3S2, 3P2. So, what happened at the earlier of the configuration? So, it will be 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P2. That is the answer for 